Oh, we're getting a phone call here. Hello? Hello, is this Ian Snowblow and Company? Uh, yes, yes it is. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, we received a message that you're interested in buying one of our properties. Uh, yes, yes, who is this calling? What company? Uh, Elm Creek Real Estate, this is. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I was interested in one of your properties, the abandoned snow plowing shop from the 1990s, was it? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. It only went abandoned, uh, two years ago, though. Oh, it only went abandoned two years ago? Okay, so how's the condition of the property? Not bad, uh, but, uh, we can send you over the details if you want to purchase it. Uh, y yeah, I'd actually like to purchase it. I'm currently at my big headquarters for snow plowing, but I'm interested in expanding the network and, uh, maybe possibly buying that shop. All right, I'll send you the information. Okay, goodbye. All right, we just got off the phone. I think we're gonna buy another property. This one's abandoned only two years ago, so it's not in bad condition. But welcome back, guys, to the snow plowing shop. We're back in Elm Creek. And as you can see, it is snowing like crazy. We've got so much snow on the ground. We've got a lot of new jobs. We got to go across the town to check out that one shop. We might purchase it to expand just into another town. We only serve the eastern part of Elm Creek. We might want to get into the western part of it. So it's pretty cool. First things we got to do is we got to take care of our own shop. We got to make this place look good. You know, we're the one that's snow plowing the rest of the city. So let's grab one of the trucks, probably the Ram. And knock out the driveway before we uh, purchase this property. I think we're going to buy it, but let's talk about the details. There we go. Look at the Ram go, man. This thing pushes some pretty big snow banks. But anyhow, I was on the phone discussing that property. It's worth $850,000. I looked at the details. A little bit expensive, but I think we might buy it. Just because it's in a great general location. So we're going to go over there as soon as we knock out this driveway and check it out. And if we do buy it, hopefully we find some vehicles in the property because it is a snow plowing shop. You know, you got trucks, salters, the big highway trucks. I'm not sure what's there, so we'll have to find out. But if you guys like snow plowing episodes, make sure to hit the like button down below. If you end up enjoying it, I would appreciate it so much, guys. It helps out and me making more snow plowing episodes. Alrighty, I'll catch you guys when we're done with the driveway, and we'll be on our way. And there we go. Just like that, we are done with the driveway. It looks pretty good. We didn't leave anything behind. There we go. The last part of the driveway, and then we're done. And we're going to bring this truck with the snow plow in case it's hard to get to the shop. I'm not sure how the road conditions are. The city trucks have not got out yet, so we'll do our best. We've got four-wheel drive on right now, so we should be okay. We've got the plow. All right, guys, we're flying in to the other city here. So yeah, we're gonna go check out the property. Expand your fleet. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Buy another shop, buy more vehicles. Hopefully there's already vehicles there. That'd be a pretty nice setup. But we gotta take a right at the baseball diamond right here. Perfect. Okay, the streets are not in great condition. Oh, that car is flying. So here's APL, American Parcel Logistics. That's my buddy's company. And then right over here, it's right next to the highway too. So if we ever get highway trucks, we might be able to get that contract. And here we are. Okay, it's not in bad condition. I do have to say it's only two years abandoned, but there is a gas station that goes with it. This is an old school gas station. Premium petroleum products. Okay, very cool. That's an old school word for sure. Usually you just say gas products and then you got your gas pumps here. Okay, gas and go. Okay, pretty cool. And then you got a little store and they are currently not open. It looks like. But the open sign says so. So we're going in, boys. Oh, no. Spoiled pastries. Okay, we're not going to eat those. We got uh, a lot of motor oil and other stuff. But it is back in the day they had this connected service workshop type of thing. So kind of a cool deal. Maybe we'll reopen the gas station. If you guys want to see us maybe reopen an old school gas station, let us know. Here we go. This is the snowplow shop. Nothing crazy. Like I said, you're paying for the property. You're right on the highway. The convenience for pretty much anything is right there. You just get on that one road and you're good. So pretty sweet ordeal. Let's uh, open it up. Well, first we got to call this realty guy. He's going to have to uh, make sure he gets his payment first. So let's call him back. Hello there. How are you, sir? Did you decide on the property? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did decide on the property. Uh, I think we're going to go with it. It looks pretty nice. Decent condition. And I see a vehicle in there. So yeah, I want to buy it. All righty. Uh, let your account know the warrant instructions and then you'll be good to own the property and we'll send a key via drone. You're going to send a key via drone? Okay. Well, uh, yeah. I'll have more of the money and then we should be good to go. All righty. I'll send out the drone very shortly. Okay. Thanks. Goodbye. All right. We paid for the property. We're waiting for a drone to drop off a key. So I don't see anything yet. It might take a couple minutes. So once it gets here, uh, yeah, we'll open up the property. All right. It just dropped off the key. That was a pretty cool ordeal. And let's open up the uh, shop here. Looks like there's a couple of vehicles in here. All right, open it up. Oh, okay. We got a work truck here, boys. Whoa, more than a work truck. It's a 3,500. What? 2019? Dang, this thing looks mint for, uh, you know, almost five years old. Jeez. And there's a John Deere mower with a plow on it. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, 
Well, let's open up the doors. Electrical still works in this place. That's actually pretty surprising. But I did just switch it into my name, so maybe I'm paying for it. And I just don't know yet. So, all right, this is a pretty cool little shop we've got here. Let's check it out. I think we're going to pull the truck out. It actually still got the battery working in it. As you can see, we turned the electricity on the front plow. It actually runs. So here we go. No way. It starts up. Even after a couple years of being abandoned, that's pretty cool. So it went abandoned in 2022. So two years later, here we are. And we got another working plow truck. So that makes four in our total company fleet. But I want to test this thing out. So let's drop it down. The Western Contractor Grade Wideout XL. This might actually do better than our Ram. Hold on. We uh, we got to move it out of the street. Simple solution. Let's take the cones out, boys. Oh, my gosh. All right. Here we go. Push the snow that way. Simple solution. Let's see what this thing can do. All right. Angle it to the right. Oh, this is working good. Look at this plow go. Oh, my gosh. Let's push it all the way into the street, though. That just knocked out a massive snow bank. That's awesome. And then you just click the auxiliary switch, raises the plow back up, no problem. It's always good when you find a good plow. I haven't seen one of these on the market in a while. Usually we go with the heavy duty ones, but this one's a contractor grade one, so it's still pretty heavy duty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's a huge snow pile. All right, let's try it on the road a little bit. I know it's city owned, but uh, they're not doing their job, so we'll do it for them, I guess. All right, it works pretty good. I wouldn't say, see right there. It does not have the best lower part of the plow, because as you can see, when it hits like a rock or an uneven part of the concrete, it should bounce up and not like push the truck back but uh, it did that so this isn't meant for roads it's meant for driveways and like residential stuff not city roadways because city roadways definitely have worse condition streets but hey it still works pretty good look at this oh my gosh okay so now our whole shop is already plowed in a matter of minutes and i think we got some more jobs to do today I know there were some residential homes in Elm Creek that needed to get done. Oh my gosh, I blocked this person in. Hold on, let me just, there we go. All right, you're clear, sir. Look at that, perfect. But uh, that's pretty much it for the snow plow shop. Let's head on over and do some jobs in the residential with the new plow truck. Get to uh, test this thing out officially, but it's running good. I like the Chevy. Would you rather pick the Chevy 3500 or the Ram 3500? I would uh, take either. They're both great trucks. Let's head over to the residential. All right, we made it to our first job here. This is actually a pretty big driveway, but we're up on the hills of Elm Creek. This is where the super nice houses are, and they've all got like a whole second house. Look, this is one person's property. They have two houses. It's, it's pretty crazy for Elm Creek, and uh, we just got to take care of the whole property for them. There we go. Push the snow bank into their window just about. That's pretty crazy, and uh, yeah, we should get it done about three passes. It's pretty simple, and this plow, man, look at it. Just cut through the snow like no problem. The red theme is looking good, too. We've got like almost like a burgundy red theme so that's pretty sweet Ooh, the lights on the plow are good too check that out here we go this can be a big snow bank here i just can feel it all right uh probably don't want to block in the front of their house so let's angle it to the right there we go that's pretty good the next two passes is going to be pretty crazy i'm going to see if this thing can actually push that amount of snow uh i guess we might have to break it up let's test it out here we go oh my gosh that's insane for this snow plow here we go Push it in the corner. I feel bad. The side door is not going to work anymore. All right. The last pass, I think, will be good. We just got to open up the garage to make sure it'll clear through. Uh... Yeah, that, that's not going to work either. That's good enough. So that was a pretty easy property. We just got paid $50 to do that every time we come back, whenever it snows. So pretty good money. Let's head on over to the next house. Thankfully, it's right over across the street here. So let's check it out. That was the biggest driveway we're going to have, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we're going to have as much as that. This one's super simple. Look at this. Ready? Drop down the plow. You go right here to the front doorstep so they can have that front parking spot too. All right. And then what we got to do is switch the plow around and then clear out their driveway. It's so easy. $25. This is what you get. This is why we have so many nice trucks at the still plow shop. It's easy money. Look at that. We're done two passes. It's also a fun job. You know, it's a very satisfying job. I don't get bored, which eh, sometimes I take that back. I get bored late at night. It can be pretty crazy because you're just snow plowing driveways for 14 hours straight. Uh, yeah, here we go. Done on the third property. We're looking good, boys. We've got one more left and then we're going to be done. I think it's up on the top of the hill here. All these guys, they're all do it themselves guys. So they shovel their whole driveway, you know, back pain and the whole ordeal. And I offered them my services even at a discount and they said no. But, uh, you know, that's not my problem. They're not paying. So they're going to have to shovel their driveway on their own. And here we go. The last property. Hey, watch it. Oh my gosh. All right. Dropped on the plow. This is kind of like a circle driveway sort of house so one pass and we are done but we got to go over here to just buy this little carport right there oh whoa the chevy's getting sideways hold on 
Raise the plow up. All right, there we go. We are done, boys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see us come back snow plowing, remember, smash the thumbs up button down below. And if you enjoyed checking out some snow plowing businesses, some abandoned ones, make sure to subscribe because we might come back and open that place up, especially the gas station, which would be pretty cool in the summertime. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.